Hi everyone, it's this Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing another Tuesday morning haul with you guys and I wanted to share some of the items that I found and I recently put up another video showing some new things that was in my Tuesday morning so make sure you check out that one as well as the range of house mouse stamps that I found so if you guys love house mouse stamps make sure you also check out that Tuesday morning video as well so now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the things that I found so one of the new items that I did locate was these awesome um, wood embellishments here and they have so many different ones and I was really happy to see the range of different wood embellishments that they had in these little compartments here and so they all were $2.99 each and these are called snapshot this particular one here and if you look at it, it has all these different little wood embellishments one being the film strip you have the corners right here that you could place inside like a, a book that you may have made you have the word smile a camera and then you have like this picture frame with these other beautiful um, design right here that you can put and decorate on different items that you choose to make projects um, with so it's like a flourish so that's what we have there the next one I found is called hello and this one right here is more catered to like your tight rate um, typewriter and then you have the little mail and then also the flowers here as well as the circle heart so this one is really really cute I like this one as well so what I'm thinking about using these for is you can also choose to paint them you can maybe even use your sprays on them um, these are great in doing mixed media um, just adding embellishments to cards even your memory desk cards as well as um, boxes and frames different things like that and so I'm also was thinking about maybe even trying to distress outside inks on some of them to see how they do and then this was the first one that I actually had got even though I'm showing it last but I really love this one because I love baking so baking is so much fun to me and I really enjoyed that so this one is all catered to baking and we have the little men right here so I guess that will stand for like gingerbread man the wooden spoons the pots right there you have your mixer some cherries your rolling pin some spoons cupcake <laughs> as my little girl would say cake cake and you have the fork and also the um, the knife in this case here so this is um, just phenomenal so these are some of the new things that they have so if you haven't seen these wood embellishments make sure you take advantage of that because these are great to decorate with and now I want to share my dies with you guys so I did um, happen to locate this one right here um, Ebony which is um, also known as sharing more here on YouTube she shared this one and she created some beautiful embellishments using this one right here and it's called what's brewing really really beautiful die and this is um, more of like a cauldron and she made some beautiful ones so make sure you check her out here on YouTube um, but this one was only $1.99 and that's what it looks like on the back I also found this one right here which I was really excited about and this one is called um, Spiderwell and it's by Dar Reese. it's a really huge die um, for $3.99 and I really like the size of it and how detailed it is and I could just imagine all the uh, spooky looking spiders that I can put on this uh, for October so I thought that would be a lot of fun um, to do some um, decorating with in my projects the next one that I located was this one right here which is by Pebbles this is the tab and recipe card dies you get a total of nine so this was really nice but even though it says recipe cards I was looking at this and maybe thinking about using it for memory decks cards to see if the size is comparable like the smaller one there I thought that would be neat and also to maybe um, even do like some include it into my travelers notebooks I thought that would be neat since the pages are already kind of set for the die Thought that would be unique but this is on the back this was $5.99 for this one then I found a ton of stamps so one of the first stamps that I located was this one right here this one is by Momenta they have some beautiful stamps I had a bunch of them in my hand but I wanted to choose and pick didn't want them all so this is the one that I really uh, was excited about this one is called forest I thought it would be some beautiful backgrounds with all these um, beautiful um, different trees and everything so I could just set a beautiful scene with that this was 249 
The next one that I located was by my mind's eye. This is the Cityscapes, the 16 stamps. I loved everything about this one. Again, thinking about scenes, background and scenes and different things. I love the um, different um, skyscrapers that they have. And then you guys know I love the Eiffel Tower since my room is pretty much more of the Paris theme. And then some of the sentiments that they had on this one here. This one here was actually priced at $2.99, which was a good price. Then we also have this Bow Bunny stamp right here. This one here has 10 pieces in it, and this one is called Brisk. I love it because of the fawn that was on here, as well as the acorn. I just thought that was really nice, so that's what um, pretty much gathered my attention, so that's why I chose to get this one. So I brought this one home with me. And this is the only snow and cocoa that I found, and I was happy to get this one. What sold me on this one was this little um, sentiment right here. It says, snowmen, mittens, hot cocoa, and happiness. I was thinking of different things I can do with the cocoa stamps and coffee cups and different things that I have in my um, bundle uh, with some of my craft goodies already. And I just thought that would be unique. So this was the only one I saw. So I don't know if my store is running low or if they just haven't got a lot of it in yet. So this was only $2.99, but this is the snow and cocoa. So it's called the crepe paper as well. And then I also loaded this, um, located this one right here. This is by my mind's eye, and I really, really love this one. You guys know I hosted the Sweet Street collab last year, and I may be bringing that back. So definitely, you know, listen up and wait for that to come back. So this right here is the sweet shop and I love anything with sugar and spice and everything nice. And that's pretty much what this stamp right here says. And it has all these yummy goodies on the front here. It's just so delicious looking at all these goodies. From the ice cream to the popsicle to the cotton candy. Oh my goodness. Sugar, sugar, and sugar. <laughs> so that's what this one looks like so if you see this one definitely grab it and I like the fact that they left this gumball machine blank so that way well empty since that way you can pretty much add whatever you choose to put in there so that's really clever I love that now up for the house mouse that I found I found some more house mouse and I was really excited about that because these are ones I didn't have in my stash yet um, this one right here is called dragonfly and look how adorable this one is. I love this one. You have three of the mice here and they are flying dragonflies. That is just too cute. <laughs> and then we have this one right here which is called Tails Entwined. So they're turned backwards and they're looking up at the moon there. Really romantic. I like that one. Then we have this one right here, which I believe I already have on a wood stamp or maybe another clean stamp, but I think it's clear. This, and if I do, I probably will be gifting this one on to someone. This one here is called Birthday Cone. So this one is a truly adorable. And the first three that I show, they are all $2.99 each. Okay, and this next one is $2.49. And this one right here is called Easter Egg Nap. So you have the little mice on top of the egg sleep. And then we have this one right here, which I was really excited to locate. This one is called Shell Search. And this was $3.99 because a bigger stamp. But look how adorable that is. Really, really nice. And I was so excited about this stamp here because I really, truly, truly wanted this one. I love all the house mouse stamps that I found, but this, when I saw this on someone else's channel, I can't remember who it was, I was, oh my goodness, almost screaming in the store. My husband just looked at me, he was like, are you serious right now? <laughs> but anyway, this was the one that I had really been searching for. And when I tell you I found this one, oh my goodness, all I have to say on that is, yes! <laughs> so this one right here um, is called Painting Pals. And it was $3.99 worth every penny. I love this one and I cannot wait to create with this house mouse stamp. Simply adorable. So those are all my stamps there. So now, and, and the dies that I share. So now I'm gonna move that right along and share with you some other things. So one of the other things that I located was the Spit in the War Sparkle. I found this here. They, um, it comes in so many different colors, but this one right here, I chose to go with the clear because I use more of the clear. Um, this one right here was priced at $8.99, but it did retail for $17.95. 
so I've never seen this before but it's called Spectrum Noir Sparkle and it also has glitter ink and you get three bottles of your crystal clear Spectrum Noir Sparkle so I guess you can um, pretty much use it um, to glitter up your project so it basically says these vivid liquid inks offer amazing coverage with an extra touch of glittering sparkle they will mix and blend effortlessly for an exciting range of shimmering um, gradations and color effects so it's archiva and acid free so that's awesome so I'm excited to use this and let you guys know how I love it and I will be sharing some projects using this so I have that then I also found some Spectrum Noir metallic markers. I got six of them in there. These are the twin tilt metallic markers and they're rare minerals. And it says ultra smooth coverage. These were $9.99, but they did retail for $16.95. And I do wanna do a um, test for you guys, but I may do that on a different video. So request down below in the comments if you would like to see me go ahead and do a you know quick little review on these so that way you guys can kind of see what they look like. Um, before you purchase them so let me know in the comments if you're interested in that and if so I will go ahead and do that for you guys so just let me know and so this one right here um, was an awesome purchase and they have some beautiful colors one being the pink quartz the red garnet the green citron jade green and blue turquoise and amethyst I love that really really nice and last but not least, I found some paper. I was looking for the white 110 pound car stock because the price was only $219, but I did not find white. But I did find a black and I use a lot of black and white. So the black, I was really happy to get my hands on this. If the white ends up turning up and I end up getting that, I would, I would be happy with that as well. But I'm fine with this for now. Um, so 110 pound for $219 was not a bad purchase um, at all. So I got that. And in addition to getting this um, car stock here, I also found the Smooth, which is the Bristol Smooth Surface. I already have the other Bristol car stock. This is how I'm able to make all my cars really thick. And I love that. Um, this was only $4.49, but it did retail for $10.69. And I bought two of these pads, guys. I love it so much. I actually found three, but I only went ahead and bought two. I left one for somebody else. So I want to get those because I use a lot of this when I'm making my cars or anything that I'm making that's um, paper crafting related because I just feel like it should be thick and also quality when you're making Bristol um, paper pads because they are so sturdy um, for your card making or any other projects you choose to make. So that pretty much concludes everything that I found. Now I was looking for the modeling clay so I hope to locate that so that way I can use some of the molds that I was gifted about a year ago from some on um, my YouTube pal. But this concludes everything. But again, make sure you leave a comment down below if you would like to, for me to demonstrate these Spectrum Award metallic markers that I found. And I want to thank you guys so much for taking out time to join me today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I welcome you to do so because I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube family. And also give this video a thumbs up and choose, I hope you um, choose a comment down below because I love reading your comments. And also, last but not least, make sure you check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. I hope you guys have a blessed day and as always, happy crafting. Bye bye.